today is the day that I buy my first deal on my own. No help from my dad, except for the knowledge that he's put in my brain for the last 35 years. Today, we are buying a fourplex in Sebring for $155,000. That's like 38 a door in Florida. You can't buy for 38 a door in Florida. So now I'm gonna do exactly what I would do in an apartment complex. I'm gonna go take it over. Change the locks. We're gonna put up no trespassing signs. We're gonna put up for rent signs. Julio, you ready? This is Julio's office. Crammed him in a corner. Next to the bathroom. <laughs> Next to, do you hear everything? I hear everything and everyone <laughs> all day. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna start using the other bathroom in this office now. I got new ports. I got the vape. Most unhealthiest person in the car. We're gonna buy smart locks. That way, when a tenant moves out, we don't have to pay somebody to come in and rekey it every single time. So long as it has that little hole on the side, it's a smart lock. That's a set. $47. Oh my god, this stuff has gone up in price. Right here, 89923. That tells me it's keyed on that same thing. 89928. Four different locks for four different apartments. That's why I wanted to buy Quick Set. And then we'll come back later and we'll buy the for sale sign. I'm here to get the discount. You give me the best discount. I know you do. All this stuff, please. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, for real. We're buying this stuff. All right, so back it up a little bit. This is what happened. Julio says, hey, I got this deal. I found it on Facebook. I go, you found it on Facebook? What the hell? It's not real. There's something wrong. The price is too cheap. He says, no. We contact the kid that had it. He immediately gets us in the place. Julio puts me on FaceTime and he shows me a new AC. He's got new water heaters. When I saw that on FaceTime, I said, let's buy it. So I called the kid up. I said, all right, I want it. I said, I'll, I'll take it for a buck 30 cash today. He goes, no, I can't do that, blah, blah, blah. I tell you what, cash right now, 140, we close immediately, you give me clear title. He goes, oh, let me talk to my investors. The investor goes, no, we can't do it. Do the back and forth. I ended up getting it for 150. But I got a good deal, I feel, as long as I know what I can do with that place. Then I go, Julio, let's go look at it. I just put five grand up. Let me go look at it now. So I pull up Memorial Day weekend. There's a store around the corner that, you know, is the neighborhood store, okay? And it was, it was popping, as we like to say, okay? I think that is the worst that it'll ever get, okay? So I seen the worst of the worst. It is right here. And it's right here. Welcome to your first building, Ben. Oh my God, Rafal just said we're in Breaking Bad. This is a beautiful place, okay? And nobody in Florida can find a deal like this for a buck fifty. Let me show you something, come with me. Let me show you where the key's at. Brand new windows. This is where the key's at. This opens up every door. There's not a lockbox, there's nothing. This area is a decent neighborhood. There's no signs of anybody hanging out here on this property, okay? There's no trash, really. This same piece of trash was here two weeks ago. Is this the one with roaches? You guys wanna see the worst of the worst? This is the worst out of all of them. Somebody just moved out of this one, okay? This is nothing, nothing. A little paint, some cleaning, a new refrigerator. Look at this, brand new. Yes, with the roaches, it's fine. Above the stove, microwave, double stainless steel sink. Nice bedroom, spacious bedroom, a washer and dryer connection in your bedroom. Look at this, you don't even have to move. You wash your clothes, you hang them up. It doesn't get any better than this. This is all tile, brand new, new diverters. Look, it's a tub that can support me. This apartment right here is the messed up one. We'll go look at the other ones. The other ones are clean and nice and everything. I mean, 
Somebody put some time and money and effort into this place. Something happened where they couldn't keep it up and they lost it. How you doing, sir? How you doing? How can I help you? Uh, I just wanted to come. I'm with the Concerned Citizen Group. Okay. And the Concerned Citizen Group, they haven't got, you know, find out what was going on and they was wondering. My name's Ben. I'm the new ownership of the property. Okay. Are you with okay. the church in the area or uh, are you? Yes. What we're doing, we're trying to keep uh, businesses and black owned businesses. Absolutely. In the predominant area. It was just alerted to us, you know what I mean, maybe a couple of weeks ago and what happened to the apartment. And I run a pool hall right on the Okay, you church. own the pool yeah, hall. Okay, the and pool then you hall. also are involved in the church. church yes. Great. What we do was that we lived off our own living and our own thing. We, was, we revised everything that we had, our jobs, we had businesses. If you're on Lemon Street, we had uh, black owned businesses. And our black owned businesses, what it did, it provided for us and also we provided for the business. And so what we're trying to do also in the area, we're trying to keep the businesses, uh, you know what I mean, in our black area. Mm -hmm. and, and not to say we're not presidents they're owned by black people. No, I understand. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it was in foreclosure and we found out a little too late. Not nothing against you, but if we would find out early enough and if she would have let somebody in the community know early enough, possibly what we would do, because we got organizations and businesses mm -hmm. would have got together and came in and collaborate together to try to keep it black owned business. Just to let you know, my family yeah. is well diversified. That's correct. Okay, my father is Jewish, I'm white, my brother's black, my other brother is Mexican. We're a well diversified family. And if it's something that you guys might want to make me an offer, yeah. willing at any day you want, sit down with you and show you all the numbers and show you how you can even qualify to get a loan for it because this qualifies for an FHA loan. So this can be owner occupied. So you can sit down with one of your, your, your community members and I can show them how to qualify for this FHA loan and live in this for free. Yeah, I understand. So I was talking to my dad yesterday. I said, and see, this is why you always gotta learn because I didn't know everything, okay? I talked to my dad, I said, dad, I'm gonna buy this place. I'm gonna fix it up real quick and I'm gonna flip it. What? You're gonna flip it. You know what you're gonna pay on short-term capital gains? on flipping a property like that, 30%, he said, 30%. Wow, that means if I make 100 grand, I gotta give them 30. I didn't 1031 ing it, I'm not doing any of that. I'm selling it quickly. Now, if I hold it for a year and then I sell it, then it's not considered long-term capital gains. It's like an investment, you pay your normal tax rate, whatever your tax bracket is, you would pay on that. But if you sell it quickly, 30%. Now, if I hold it for a year, and then I sell it, and the 1031's still around and he doesn't take it away from us, then I can 1031 the money into a bigger deal and I don't have to pay taxes on it. I just get, keep going, I just move up, like he's always explaining. What do you think a rent on a one bedroom is in this area? Well, let me, let me show you, you'll be surprised. In this predominant black area, the top income per year is $12,000 or less. Pretty bad. Over well, there is is it's a drug infested area, okay? And just to let you know, it's been over 25 people got killed in this area in the last 10, 15 years. It's a tough area. The cops haven't even found out about it. And that's because the youth has came in with drugs and gangs and everything, and they have scared, you know what I mean, folks away. It just burnt down two days ago. It was like a, two days ago that burned down because I'm wondering, I'm like. Yeah. When I came out here, yeah, two days ago, that didn't, that wasn't burnt down. Yeah, two days, two days ago, that burnt down, and that's the only place by besides another place they got. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ada, Ada just told me the secret to this place. She said, "You keep it at 650, you'll be all right. You move in, some elderly people. Maybe we'll designate it an elderly apartment community." Maybe we won't take anybody under 55. I can do that. You know, I'm still working my options. Okay, so the area was a little different than the Sebring we own property. So now I took it from being a super, super deal of renting it at 850 and I said, I know I can rent them at 650, 700, no problem. $32,000 a year, we can make off of that $150,000 investment. I got no expenses. Insurance, landscaping, repairs, that's really all you have on a small building like this. There's not much more, so. Hey, you called? How's the party? We're closed, I got four units in Sebring. 
Congratulations. You're on your own now. Big time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 you don't need me no more. No, don't say that. This is four little units. It turns into eight. Eight turns into 800. Or four turns into I lost 20 grand. I don't know. <laughs> yep, we're here, we're leaving, we wrapped it up, I changed all the locks, we secured the place, we put out for rent signs, we put a number out there to call us for rent, and that's it. Go Section 8. Go Section 8, baby, that's what we're gonna do. Go Section 8 right away. That's it, that's what we're gonna do. I got the painters hopefully coming here this weekend, they're gonna paint all the units, the cleaners are coming on Monday, Tuesday, we'll do the make ready, and we're done. And then um, you took the plane, right? No, I didn't take the plane. My dad's always taught me to take a profit and run. Okay, but say I'm making 10 grand a year on this building. It's gonna take me 10 years to make $100,000 or five years to make 50 grand. So why would I not sell it in six months or a year so that I don't have to pay a lot of tax on it and make the 50 grand instead of waiting for another five or 10 years to make more money? Eh, I'd rather take the money now and move on to the next deal. So I think I'll probably end up holding this one for six months, seven months, get it stabilized because you got to have good numbers. You can't just, you know, put a building right back on the market, fill it up and put it right back on the market. That doesn't make sense. I mean, they want to know that it is a long term stabilized investment. OK, you can't just fill it up and flip it. All right. They want to see numbers. People in minimum right now, they want to see three months. And that's like, I don't think you're going to get a loan. You'll get somebody to buy it on pro forma with three months, six months. You start getting into real buyers. People can do it. You give somebody a year. Now you can go out and get maybe a loan. You can go out maybe two years. Banks usually ask for two to three years, but you get a good solid year. You explain to them that it went into foreclosure. You can get a loan on it. Please drop a comment. Do you guys think that little Ben is over his head? Is it too much for him to take on? Here's the update on Sebring. Now we got, it's been like uh, maybe a month or two. I got three of the four units rented. We got them rented at 675. I got one section eight lady in there. I rented the other ones for cheaper real quick to get it filled up. Now I'm gonna prove concept by renting the last one for maybe 700, 725. That we approve the concept that that unit can be rented for 725. Once I get that done, then we're gonna turn around and put it on the market. It brings in about 2,100 a month, you know, about two grand a month right now. There's really no expenses. Uh, insurance, I think, was about 2800 for the year. And the taxes got the trim notice. I think that's about another 2800 for the year. Six grand in expenses a year. Thinking right now, once we get that vacancy filled and everything, it should net me about 26 to 28 a year. So if you break out the old calculator in the world of uh, cap rates, $26,000 a year divided by, I'll even give it a seven cap. That puts the value of that place at a seven cap at 371,000. There ain't nothing selling in Florida right now for a seven cap, okay? Things are selling at a four and a half cap today. So what I'm gonna try to do, since we didn't use a broker to find it, we found it on our own, we're gonna try to list it and sell it on our own. So that'll be the next step, is put this thing on the market and try to sell it. I'm gonna start with Facebook, to be honest with you. All right, so today I just came back from looking at another property in Lake City. If you guys want to see that video of me and my team out there exploring and oh! <laughs> going through the whole deal and, and underwriting it, if you want to see that, I need 20,000 likes on this video, okay? Or I'm not going to do it no more. I mean, I just, we don't need it. If it's not going to make anything, it's not going to do anything, then what's the point of doing it? So give me 20,000 likes on this video and I'll release the next video that I just did today. I gotta go do kids school. All right, thank you. Thank you.